you're not a born and bred tea side of yourself. Everyone kind of forgets that, don't they? But uh, you've you've moved from Hull, is that right? Uh, right yeah, saying. Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. moved from um, near Selby, which is uh, yeah, south of York, and between Hull and Gull and things like that. It's uh, it, yeah, only about uh, eighty miles away. But uh, I feel you know I've been in Middlesbrough, it's in um, you know Middlesbrough, kind of centre Middlesbrough mm-hmm. for two years now, and I feel like I've been adopted into Middlesbrough, not just for the Palmos. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel that. Uh, it is a great town and a great a great seed valley. And I think there's so much now of, of money being pumped into the town, investment into the Tees Valley. Um, for example, you know, like a, there's the mention of a snow dome. There's the big, great sporting facilities. Um, there's, you know, the football club, which is doing really well at the minute. And fingers crossed, you know, it could even get promotion. I think having, it, having the football club in the Premier League really does raise the profile of the whole town. And I know it does a lot of different work with the Middlesbrough uh, Football Club Foundation. Um, and the university is having an amazing amount of investment with um, a big new building, a uh, possessionised campus, um, to try and make that a bit more community feel. So I think there's so much going on. Uh, new new um, hospitality facilities in the town centre as well. Um, so there's loads going on. I think that hopefully this will drive student numbers. It'll make it more attractive and make you know the TGI University become a bit more global, I think, as well. I know that I've, I meet regularly with um, senior members of the university staff and you know there is um, a pro vice chancellor who works on those p- international partnerships uh, and Teesside University run uh, courses in Malaysia, run courses in um, in diff- many different countries across the world um, and you know it's great to think that you know it all stems from Middlesbrough. It's quite weird when you think of it like that yeah, isn't it yeah too, yeah and, and yeah definitely and but you know the the, the um, university has ceremonies in you know Prague and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia every year and uh, I, I followed it on social media and things and you know there's them tweeting Teesside University they just graduated from Teesside University in Malaysia and it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing but I think it's brilliant at the same time that you know all the, the, the you know the university the knowledge and is, is kind of is, is spreading across the world and yeah just one last thing as well what it for you personally you've you've obviously come to grow and love this town you've become the president of the student union what's your favorite thing about Middlesbrough in particular is it the nightlife is it the cafes the restaurants the pubs anything like that I think it's a good question or the people yeah I think it has to be the, yeah I mean this word often gets used a lot around the university and around Middlesbrough I think it's friend for the friendly uh, friendliness and I think that meters down to the people I think you know I think a lot of this people in the town you know do do love the town and are quite uh, ter- not t- t- territorial in that, and I know quite a lot of our students come from local, um, from from the local Tees Valley, but also from um, you know Tyneside and Yorkshire as well. But I think there is that that northeast community feel, um, and yeah, I think when I, when I do work and socialise in the town, I think that's what I love that it is just so friendly, and and, and there is a lot of exciting, creative, and new things going on as well, and I think that it can get overshadowed by some big cities. You know, Middlesbrough sometimes does have a, and I do have a reputation to, but I think, you know, it's, it's trying to block those. Actually, there's so much going on and there's so much investment in the future that it's quite exciting, really. Mayoral election in, uh, in May as well. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of exciting things going on. Do you see yourself staying here, maybe? Definitely, I'd love to. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do in the future yet, but I've got another year left of my studies to go back to in September. Um, and... I, you know, I, I don't, if, there's, if the right opportunity comes up, then definitely I'm, I'm going to be selling Middlesbrough to the world anyway. I think whenever I, I go, because I've had a great experience here. But yeah, I'd love to probably stay here and further that. Middlesbrough will still be with you. In it will indeed. <laughs> Thanks, Matt.